All right, guys. We just finished up chapter three of Wanderer and the Binding Knight. And uh, now if you go to Aldo's room, there's a little purple question mark talking about a piece of thread that's glowing. And that's all we can do. If you check the wiki page, it says that Aldo needs to be a character in the party. It says he has to be a frontline character, so just as a test, I'm going to put him in the back line and see if that's enough to activate it. Nope, apparently not. So switch order, we'll just stick him in the front line. Hmm. Aha, there was something glowing on the floor. Well, there was something glowing on the floor. Oh, he's... his hand is glowing. Uh, that's why he needs to be in the front line. We need to be able to click on him. Maybe you should follow it. All right, now we're in the uplands. Moonlight forest. control of my team. So let's poke around in the forest a little bit. Okay, there's the thread. I'm curious if I swap Aldo out of the front line, do we still see the thread? Yes. All right, if I swap Aldo out entirely, Let's find a, oops, not a staff. Uh, who'd I have in there before? May. Do I see the thread? I do. And I get into a fight. Take that. You picked the wrong fight. All right, so let's follow this thread. I do need to heal up from the last boss fight. So that was nice. All right. Thread. Where's the thread? I should probably go north. You ain't gonna get me that easily. You picked the wrong fight. Yep, there's the thread. I'm sure that oak will come in handy at this point. All right. So there's a warp spot and there's a rift. So just like the other six chapters, we might be able to change things a little bit.
All right, continue to follow. Unable to switch maps. Well, hopefully that means I won't get into any fights. Uh, his memories are coming back. Kind of. Alright. And someone else. to the next chapter. Good old Claude. All right, he was able to remember what she said this time. Next. saw four chapters flashbacks automatically moved on to chapter five Mariel's moved on to chapter 6, Yakumo's. Uh, this time she's a little more defined as well. You can kind of see her face. <clears throat> her name. Little Red Riding Hood. Flashback to a long, long time ago. She's not a very good shot. All right. 
it. I can no longer advance. So this part's all completely automatic. Oh, and they're reunited. All right, looks like Nona rejoined. I have her new style. And some more stuff has been added to the records room. And I see a quest up there already. All right, I have control again. Looks like I can get, still go to the kingdom and castle town. And if I check the board, uh, let's see, Nona was a bow user. There she is. There's her new style, which is still a bow user. And level one, so time to level her up. Uh, what skills does she have? Anything? Let's see. Um, Cartello Forza. Barrier, type attack improvement. Yeah, all that stuff. Uh, what else? Let's see. She has heal. So let's, let's check her board really quick. She has Concordia. Damage of all party members 30%, critical damage 30% for five turns. And devotion target deploy zone. Based on the target weapon type. Interesting. So she targets a uh, fire user. I guess a fire zone would be deployed. With some flexibility there. And what's her other skill? Water type piercing, extra large. Uh, water type attacks, 30%. Crit. Attack count plus three for devotion target. And buff type changes to their personality. So if they're a cat lover, um, I guess all cat lovers would then suddenly gain a boost. And it's persistent. Interesting. So it looks like uh, Nona AS might be uh, fairly flexible 
in a party. All the same. Uh, that's apparently how you get her AS style. No boss fight or anything, so that's good to know. Uh, so this is Casual Chrono. Sign off from that.